<laughs> so why don't we jump right into our headline topic today? And this was actually inspired by uh, my usual sort of, hey, I've got six minutes with nothing to do. I, I love it. I'm going to creep other YouTubers on Social Blade pastime. And I fired up uh, Philip DeFranco over on Social Blade, and I discovered that... Uh, here, let's go ahead and pop my display capture on over here. I discovered that he only had a billion video views, and I was like, what? That doesn't sound, a, that doesn't sound right. A billion views? You gotta be kidding me. So then I was scrolling. I was scrolling. I was like, look at that. He got three quarters of a million views that day. He got uh, 900,000 views that day. He got minus 1.88 billion views on June the 24th. <laughs> Okay, so there. That's amazing. Yeah, right. Uh, so there are a number it's just, of. It's just a YouTube correction. Don't worry. It's just just a standard YouTube correction. Yeah. Don't worry about it. So there are a number of reasons that <laughs> views can disappear um, as tracked on Social Blade, which basically just pulls data from the YouTube API, which is exactly where the 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 view totals that are on your YouTube channel come from. Um, so there's a handful of reasons they can go away. Uh, one reason they might go away is YouTube just doing uh, sort of standard auditing of views and finding that, oh, you know, um, after further investigation, um, you know, we don't think that six seconds towards the second half of the video where they actually skipped everything else. We don't think that constitutes a view anymore. So they'll do these audits um, and they'll they'll change their policies as to what exactly constitutes a view. And sometimes you'll see these, these, these one day corrections one way or the other. Um, other reasons that you can see adjustments to view counts are things like uh, view botting. So if Phil uh, view botted two thirds of his overall viewership over the last 12 years or however long he's been active on the platform for 14 years, holy smokes, 14 years. Um, if that were the case, then, you know, I guess that's uh, they finally got him. <laughs> we got him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so that ain't it. Um, the other main though? reason that you'll see a big reduction in views is if a creator privates or deletes some portion of their back catalog. So we ran into this a little while ago when um, Lou from Unbox Therapy, which we discussed before, um, removed some videos on his channel around that whole launch of the later case where uh, he uploaded an explainer as to why he deleted these particular videos, which happened to be about a case that shared some similarities with his later case. Um, so it was it was pretty easy to tell that a video had been deleted, even if it's quite a manual process to go back and figure out which ones. Now, as for what went on with Phil's channel today, uh, I tried to post on r slash out of the loop because I thought that that's like, a, you know, a natural enough thing to do. I didn't see anything on there about it. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm just going to post on r slash out of the loop. I use it all the time. It's great. And apparently my post did not meet the guidelines, didn't give me any particular reason for it. It's just like, nope. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go to a website where I control the site and I'm going to ask there. So I posted on Linus Tech Tips forum. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, does anyone know why Phil DeFranco deleted 2 billion views worth of videos? Uh, Yabio Star, thank you for the utterly useless response. Um, good job. Uh, Vegetable Stew says, hey, Reddit's pretty curious too. Uh, one leading theory slash observation is that he privated every video prior to 2017. How interesting. Um, so, Would that have see. been his uh, discovery? So that was one of the speculations, uh, or one of the speculations, that was something that was speculated on Reddit. So Zeus the Moose, who is a proud member of the Parrot Gang uh, over here on the forum, uh, posted that. And then uh, Fake NSA, also proud member of the Parrot Gang here, uh, posted that it's confirmed all videos prior to 2017 have been removed from the channel. Whew. I, I don't actually know him personally. Otherwise, I would just ask him what's going on. But I I think there is a fairly safe uh, guess. I think there's a pretty good guess as to what exactly is 
shake a lake in over here. Um, it's funny. I was on a call with my YouTube rep actually earlier this week. And you know how there's been just like a ton of scandal uh, and drama on Twitch right now, in the Smash community right now. That's a very unintentional pun. Um, oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Uh, wow. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> bye. Uh, <laughs> I'm back. I'm good. I'm recovered. Um, uh, anyway, so there's been, there's been a, a ton of, uh, drama and turmoil in those particular communities. Um, uh, on Twitch right now, you've got, you know, Alinity talking about how she's been pushed to the point of suicidal thoughts. You've got PewDiePie responding in a video that he doesn't basically doesn't feel bad for her. You've got like, just like everything is crazy right now. So anyway, uh, you know, there was a whole mixer thing that went down uh, where the management was accused of basically like systemic racism. Um, all right. I didn't see that one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was a whole thing. And I, I actually don't know if Microsoft ever responded to that. Cause like, what would they say other than, yeah, we terminated everything <laughs> at this point. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We cut all ties, so luckily that's handled. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm on I'm on the phone with my with my YouTube rep, and I'm like, yeah, it's like it's sure a good thing that uh, you know you guys have mostly uh, escaped notice over the last little bit. Like I was like, yeah, you guys haven't really had any really bad scandals. And then um, my rep makes an offhand remark. He's like, oh, I guess you haven't seen like the Shane Dawson Jeffrey Star thing that's going on right now. And, uh, oh, also Jenna Marbles, like, deleted her channel. And I'm like, oh, never mind. That's not internal, though. That's not YouTube themselves. No. That's content creators on YouTube. No. That's very different. But, I mean, you know, you look at what happened with the whole Dr. Disrespect thing. It's not like, like, my, my, my best guess at what's going on there is Twitch is, um, is through some, okay, it's hard to say, and it may come out that there's some other reason for it. So I'm not, you know, I, I'm not in indelible ink, you know, etching this theory into stone or anything like that. I just think the timing is really suspect around the gigantic contract they signed with him, around the uh, the pushback on Twitch for holding its creators more accountable and cleaning up its image and taking care of those two things in one fell stroke, swoop, one whatever. In, in one go, two birds, Dang. one stone. Um, yeah. So anyway, I guess the question that this all sort of brings up. So, right. So the theory as to why Phil might have deleted um, basically every... I mean, did you say there's one video that's still there from pre-2017 or something from like that? seven years ago. From yeah. seven years ago. What, what video so is this? So there's one video called... The Nation Decides 2012, live at the DNC, day three. Maybe That's 24,000 just... views from seven years ago. Maybe he just missed uh, it. If you click on it, it says this live stream recording is not available. Oh, but I see. You can still load it. You can see the like to dislike. You can see the uh, description with all the links under it, all that kind of stuff. Um, but no comments and the video is not available. So maybe it's because of... Like maybe live streaming back then was super odd or mm, something. That could and be. And he like can't get rid of it for some reason. I don't know, but it's still sort of there. Okay. Sort of. So you've got Jenna Marbles basically retreating from the platform uh, over uh, some of her older content. You've got, it looks like um, uh, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star both in extremely hot water over some of their earlier edgy content. Uh, and I'm using the term edgy just as a, a blanket term to describe anything that uh, at one point might have been deemed acceptable. I mean, clearly it was because these are people that have not faced this backlash yeah. before um, and is clearly not currently acceptable because they are being... Uh, canceled over it or compelled to get rid of their channels and stop uploading videos over them or delete their videos or whatever the case may be. I mean, do you think that's a pretty good theory as to why Phil might delete his old... I actually, like, I've followed his career, but I've never actually watched the videos, if that makes sense. Like, I just, I ever yeah. since... 
the early days of SourceFed, I've just been like, oh, wow, like this is a guy who's out there trying to turn YouTube into a business. Like that's that's what I'm trying to do, too. So I've kind yeah. of like paid attention. Definitely always known about him. Uh, haven't watched a ton of his content, but the fact that he reports his opinions on the news, it, it might have just been a strategic like. I don't even know what I said in all of this stuff because I've released so much content. Let's just wipe it all out. There's no real major reason for anyone to watch it now anyways, because it's not because it's news. news. Um, so let's just ax all of this stuff and move on. I mean, he had, if I remember correctly, his like original content on the site was like black and white. That wouldn't even surprise me. I mean, like it's it's been so long and the hardware that people had when they started doing YouTube was usually like your your dad's or your grandpa's like old camcorder. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure his original stuff was in black and white. So like we can probably let those things go. Like I, I don't think he like hurt anyone by taking this content down um, and he might have saved himself from from maybe a, a side comment or something that he might not even agree with anymore. So yeah, maybe not a terrible idea. I know there's some people uh, that even have like Twitter tie-ins that delete all of their tweets once they're like a month old or something like that. They just cut them right off. It's interesting. Interesting. Uh, the Philly D channel is also completely empty. Was that like a number two channel thing? Or I something believe like so. That. There's one video left there that uh, is called It's Time to Say Goodbye, which was, I think, when uh, uh, when he left wherever. can't remember. Hold on. My kids don't know how to close doors. One sec. And we good. They've got a ho They've got a whole home that's entirely full of only doors, and they don't know how to close them. Sorry. Carry <laughs> on. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the Philly D channel was. Well, there's no way to know now, is there? <laughs> well, his last video there might kind of explain it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think this like cleansing and purging of your online image is going to become the norm, in my opinion. So let's talk about it. Um, should I should I should I nuke the back catalog? We have definitely done some stuff that would not be considered cool. Probably. Today. I mean, I think I'm pretty sure you and I have both sexually harassed each other on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. There might be a, you might be able to lean on a relationship clause there. Um, <laughs> Ed grabbed I, my butt yeah. once at work. Did you mind? That was all right. I guess that that's not. <laughs> see, I don't know. Like if they know it's okay, it's fine, right? He didn't You're check first. <laughs> consenting adults. Okay, all right. Cancel, <laughs> cancel, Ed. Um, I don't know. Like there's pro. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what there is. That that's that's like w w looking at Philip DeFranco's thing. Yeah, he's been making content for longer than you have. He's been yep. obviously. 14 years almost. Clause, he's been making content for much longer than I have. I have no idea what I said in a video from seven years ago. Yeah, I mean, and you've done some like kind of edgy stuff. Like, do you remember that video we did, How to Hide Your Pornography? <laughs> Where like intentionally, you know, every other word out of your mouth was some kind of innuendo and the visuals were extremely yeah. um, suggestive. Yeah. And like... I don't know. Maybe, maybe that and seemed that was technically played to everyone. So I don't know. Maybe that's terrible. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, here, I, why don't we just, why don't we just open up to open up to our viewers? Like the thing is, for for me too. Like between the Linus Tech Tips channel, where hold on a second. Like let's just do a quick informal count here. Linus Tech Tips has five thousand thirty nine videos on it. Philip DeFranco's only has below 800 now now out of um you know out of those 5,000, not all of them even have me in it like for example ones where luke hosted but i would say a good more than 4,000 of them are are hosted by me 
So then we've got TechWiki, where I probably host a good two-thirds of the 769 videos. Nice. Uh, we've got <laughs> TechLinked, where I've probably hosted about half of the, uh, maybe a third of the 348. Um, you know, like, I just have no idea what's out there. I have seen people put together, like, mashup clips of me saying or doing just the most ridiculous things that I do not recall like i that i feel was the like the single most boring thing ever yeah i feel i feel like if i was if i was to be um you know if i was to have to issue some kind of you know testimonial or be you know cro cross-examined based on my youtube upload history i'd have to just go full jeff sessions you know i do not like, recall how do you, how do you... <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah yeah how, how do you defend yourself from so long ago that like most of the cells in your body have been replaced yeah, and to be um, clear, like, I'm not saying that that is a defense. You know, if you did something wrong, then you sh you, sh you should probably apologize for it at some point. I definitely sure. believe in that. Yeah. But if I didn't realize it was so bad and um, I have completely forgotten about it, then it, odds are I haven't apologized for it. I got called out a little while ago um, for something that happened on The WAN Show like two or three weeks ago. Uh, I was making fun of you for your dyslexia and someone was okay. very upset because they suffered from dyslexia and they were like, that was, you know, really inconsiderate. And I was like, okay, uh, fair point. But like the, the counter argument to that is that mine and Luke's relationship is such that yeah. we are just trying to say the most hurtful possible thing to each other. <laughs> and in those moments... Um, it's just very easy to go after whatever is the most obvious defect that the other happens to be saddled with. Yeah, and the, there's there's maybe something to be argued there where like that should maybe be cooled when you're like on a stream to other people. Oh, definitely. But like you obviously know I have absolutely no issue with it and I would probably be displeased if it stopped because then i couldn't do the same thing back yep i mean don't don't worry <laughs> your, your your belly and your dyslexia and <laughs> your eyesight and your cheapness and <laughs> it's okay you're old <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna die first actually maybe not because tall people tall people tend to live shorter lives maybe, maybe you'll make it it's okay at least i'm not short um <laughs> or small. You, you, um, the amount of pleasure this guy would take from like storing bins and stuff on the top of shelves <laughs> and like me needing to get a ladder or him needing to get it down for me like <laughs> you had a ladder <laughs> yeah that doesn't mean it's still emasculating to have to go get it and use it <laughs> yeah you know if 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 my girlfriend wants to hide something from me in the fridge she'll just put it in the bottom <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> i can't see it so i would have to like full crouch to get there oh that's hilarious i'm not even like that tall either this is this is a this is a problem for a lot of people okay <sighs> anyway um yeah i just i you know it's one of those things where i look at and i go you know fortunately i've never relied on that you know sort of that kind of shock humor like i was uh, uh what's her name um the canadian youtuber um lily singh lily singh was trending on twitter the other day and every time i see a name that i recognize i'll just be like oh i wonder if it's positive and it's not um and so uh people were really upset with her over uh cultural appropriation stuff or something i don't know i never followed her content so i didn't really know what they were talking about but i was like oh okay so people are mad about that um and fortunately, I, I never really I never really rode that wave of like, you know, edgy comedy. So I, I really I doubt there's, you know, unless people are offended over the, you know, wanton destruction of keyboards or other computer hardware, I really doubt that there's anything yeah. that bad back there. We've had like, I haven't heard this term in a long time, but like, what, what do you even call it? Like toilet humor, potty humor, toilet humor. Yeah, you've never heard the term toilet humor? No, I, I, it's not that I haven't heard oh, it. I don't think okay, it's used that often anymore. Um, but like, we've had a lot of that over the years. Hence the how to hide your 
yeah yeah stuff your, your stuff how to hide your things and stuff and how to hide your data your homework um, folder yeah <laughs> your pictures of dogs um mm -hmm. it's yeah i don't know uh honey not now sweetheart i'm i'm live you gotta go talk to mommy oh for crying out loud i gotta close the store again <laughs> i'm just scrolling through I'm just scrolling through. Sorry, uh, one sec. Uh, hold on. Yeah, no worries. I'm I'm scrolling through the Linus Tech Tips videos and just looking at like the thumbnails and looking at the titles. I can't show you guys these, so I'm sending them to Linus. We'll see if he wants to forward them forward or not. Forward them forward. Oh my. Um. Yeah, they they get pretty potty humor, but I don't know. I feel like we weren't that bad. There's something to be said for like the scientific method of approaching social situations. Like you might Sorry. not No worries. What are you scrolling I've down? sent you I've sent you some screenshots oh, of no. um some wonderful things that I've ran into while just scrolling through um the the Linus Tech Tips backlog of like thumbnails. Oh um, yeah, wow. This is like hold on a second. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if we would I don't know if we would do this one again uh these days. My favorite compact console killer. So this thumbnail has a a banana for scale. Um <laughs> That's not great. Uh what else we what else we got here? Like I mean, I don't think any of that is again though. I don't even know I don't even know what the standards are. Um, Reimagining the PC case. Yeah, this one, this one seems worse. I think to so. Me. I don't, yeah. I don't actually, I don't actually know what the rules are, but that doesn't seem great. Um, yeah. I don't even remember, like I have no memory of that. I have no memory of that either. Uh, I don't know what's so bad about this one. Uh, six million subs. Just the and phrasing of the title. None matter. Um, that one I could probably that one I could probably get away with still. But yeah, the 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 paying attention to the grommet one is probably not <laughs> the best thing ever. Yeah. Again, I have literally no memory of it, and that's just like a screenshot from a video where i maybe was just showing where the cable like black go on black through. where it goes through it's also I might you, have though. also there was a solid so chance that it was very, very intentional. likely that yeah. was intentional yeah yeah so i i don't know <laughs> and the problem is that the rules keep changing you know so just because that is probably still get away with a bull now doesn't mean that um it necessarily be in the future that's that's i was starting to get into this while you were gone but like yeah. the the scientific Sexual does not equal offensive. I agree. Yeah, but um, we're not the ones making the rules. Yeah. So there's, there's, yeah, what I was trying to get into was like the scientific method of social acceptedness where like there's maybe something that you do or have an opinion on because it's, it's kind of easy and it's what everyone around you is thinking and you don't really think too much about it. Yeah. And then you receive more information later on in life. Yeah. And it opens your mind up a little bit and you go, oh, okay, that was wrong. I am now shifting my views on this and my actions on this, whatever. And I will now act appropriately, appropriately in this way. That's a fairly standard way that I think people should operate in order to grow as humans. Um, but diving back super, super far into someone's history and picking these things out is kind of counter to that. And, and that seems bad. And the really dangerous thing is that the intent doesn't seem to matter. Um, one of the only times that I ever legitimately had like a, like a, a, a it wasn't like a cancel moment because I don't think canceling was such a prominent thing yet. But one of the only times that I ever had like a significant backlash um, on social media outside of just, you know, the comments on a particular video where people thought we did a bad job of measuring the thermals of a case or whatever, like um, 
like like a cultural criticism was on the one uh where we were um where we covered the amazon ghost store so i went down and i decided and in retrospect i don't care i stand behind it because i actually don't care um <laughs> in retrospect if i had wanted to avoid controversy i would have said um we bought sanitary pads or we we shoplift i don't, I don't forget mm. we stole sanitary pads from the amazon ghost store that would have been my title instead of we stole tampons from the amazon ghost store because it created this uh, this backlash because i was so misogynistic that i didn't know the difference between pads and tampons and uh, what actually happened was i thought tampon was a better keyword because pad could be anything um there's lots of things that are pads and if i wanted the best possible related video linkage um i i wanted to use something that was much more much more clearly understood um from one language to another one. Not all of our viewers are, are English first language, for example. Um, so I decided on tampons. The reason that I didn't just buy tampons when I was in the store was because I wanted something that would be for at risk of giving far too much information, something that would be useful for a member of my family who might need them. And I happen to know not not only do I not only do I know the difference between them, I just like actually know the right one. And there a lot of people were like never really bothered to understand what the intent of that piece of content was all they heard was what they wanted to hear which was a tech bro being misogynistic but what was actually happening in the intro to that informed more accurately i, I would well, I, I understand that's what they went after you yes. for for sure but it's that's not well there yeah. was also the intro of the video so in the intro of the video okay. my setup for our coverage of the amazon go store is that you know, you have to go buy something that's so unspeakable that you don't want to talk to or see another human being the whole time you're shopping. So this is perfect for that. And it was that uh, your significant other is having a, a feminine emergency. What was actually happening was I was mocking people who see it that way, because to me, it's just a roll of cotton or a pad of cotton or whatever they're made of. I actually like I don't care about that. I don't need to get into the technology of them. But to me, it's not a big deal to like go pick up some pads or tampons or whatever. And so yeah. I was I was mocking that sort of that you icky like fear of them that some people seem to have. He and was on your side. And it and that's like that's exactly it. There was another dumb uh period on Twitter a little while ago, pun intended, um where what happened was I was getting um I was getting criticized for a poorly worded but you know generally supportive message that I sent out. And I ended up in an exchange with someone over it where I basically went like, look, this is friendly fire at this point. Um and they're like, well, basically, in summary, they I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but they basically said, well, allies that are doing it wrong are just as destructive as enemies. And I'm like, well, and I have nothing else to say, really, because yeah. how can you possibly reason with that kind of mentality? I, I, I don't know. I don't understand it. Like at that point you go okay well uh you know let's let's educate but instead if you just uh attack and spew poison then it really doesn't create any kind of positive outcome for anybody uh, it's much easier and more productive to train a dog through positivity and i'm nothing if not a, a dog you know dog sup dog <laughs> i don't know <laughs> I'm saying seriously, like it, it's it's relatively hard to sway someone, to sway someone's like genuine opinion and feelings and actions through just like pointing a finger in their face and being like, "Screw you." So, in summary, I was never considering deleting the videos. <laughs> I uh, but it was a, is, uh, it was a good discussion. I wanted to have this discussion there. This is entirely off topic, but I sent you a screenshot of, uh, yeah. I don't remember how I got there, but I was searching something in my email and this email thread came up and it was an email thread between my mom and I, I don't remember a time where my mom and I emailed each other. I thought we always hit each other up on instant messaging type things. 
Um, but I think this was Computex 2013, and it was just really cute. Western Digital, a hard drive company. <laughs> We were just Thank talking about old videos and I thought about it. Thanks, Mom, for helping with the insurance and comments about the videos, smiley face. A few of the videos that have gone out were more of my A content. Some of the ones that are still to be released won't be as good, but right now the like-dislike ratio is very strong, so I'm quite happy. Today was awesome. I had dinner with an engineer from Western Digital, parentheses, hard drive company, and it was very interesting <laughs> talking to him about future storage technologies that are currently in R&D. Very hush-hush talk, but very cool. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I no. felt very old reading that. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, man, I remember that Computex. No kidding, some of the videos were not our A content. So <laughs> nobody who worked on that project is still at WD, so I feel pretty safe talking about this. But our deal with them for that show was that Ooh. they they sponsored it. It was a pretty big sponsorship deal for us at the time because it was enough for us to fly overseas and uh, create content at Computex for a week. Um, but the problem was that we'd never been to Computex before. We had no idea how much of it was just like samey, ugly computer cases. <laughs> and problem number two was that part of the deal was that we had to create a video at WD's booth every day for the entire show. So we ended up with like... That was on you and... Okay, I was doing my best, Luke. Okay, did, did the company survive? No, no, no. Oh, oh no, you mean I'm I had sorry. to do those I mean, videos. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I felt like slightly shafted because oh. I got I got all the like Junko booths and I had to like <laughs> do a lot of the reconnaissance type content. But then every time I like was started to feel bad for myself, I was like, <laughs> he has to make videos at WD every day. <laughs> I have no idea what I would do. I mean, one of the videos was just about the like model of a race car that they had in the booth and get this yeah. get this oh it was the most horrible thing ever because even though we were oh. working with like i forget I, I don't think she was vp level but she was at least i'm pretty sure she was like director level so even though our handler was like pretty high up at wd initially we couldn't even get permission to sit in it and i was like you have got to be kidding me here what am i supposed to do <laughs> how am i supposed how am I supposed like to make a video cool. about I can't even like ride in it? Like what? Oh no, yeah. please, yeah. no. Oh man, I I am I can't wait until I retire. Because that is when I'm gonna finally do I'm gonna do like a 12 hour stream and I'm gonna talk about like every stupid sponsor request I ever had or like just every weird interaction those, by the way when i was scrolling through for those three thumbnails i saw i sent you yeah i saw quite a few thumbnails that i remembered and was just like oh yep yep that hurt i remember that <laughs> yep 